laws. There are three gas, four gas laws we're going to work with. And I think I told you this the other day, I'm going to tell it to you again. I don't care if you can remember who's Charles, who's Boyles, and who's Guy Zach. Okay? What I want you to understand is the functional relationships. You can look up which gas law is which. Remember the formulas. Remember how to use them. So Boyle's is pressure volume relationships. As you very aptly pointed out, they are inversely proportional, which means if we multiply the pressure of a gas by the volume of a gas, we get a constant. And if we change one, the other will change so that we still get that constant. We most typically use this to talk about a gas that is changing pressure. So while we're talking about that, I want to make one distinction. The distinction is between inside and outside. Okay? We talked about this a little bit with potato chip bags being packaged at sea level and traveling up mountains. We can talk about the pressure inside this balloon. Here's our balloon. Inside this balloon or outside this balloon. Now, right now, what's the pressure relationship between the pressure inside and outside the balloon? It's equal. It's been sitting here for a few days. The balloon is not expanding. It's not contracting. The pressure inside the balloon is equal to atmospheric pressure, whatever atmospheric pressure is today. Typically, that's the case. When you, when you enclose something, the pressure inside the container is going to be equal to the pressure outside the container when it was closed. Now, if the container that you've got is flexible, so this balloon is flexible, and we change the pressure either inside or outside, the volume of the container is going to adjust until the pressures are equal. If we have a container which is not flexible, such as imagine a soup can, we can a soup can someplace, seal it up where it's one ATM. We take that soup can someplace where atmospheric pressure is 0.75 ATMs. The can's not going to expand. It's not going to blow up like a balloon. Um, but it's gonna, there's going to be higher pressure inside relative to outside. When we do pressure problems, typically if you see wording like, a you know a sample of gas in a cylinder is under two atms of pressure. We're talking about the pressure inside the cylinder. Okay, so that's it's a subtle distinction, but it's an important one. Okay, um, Charles. Actually, let's do. Let's go back. 